Good evening, everyone. I uh, hope you're doing okay. We have to remember that the S&P and markets generally, we can't keep going in one direction. It's just that's not how the market operates. We have to get a retracement in order to get the next leg up. And that's just what we're seeing. Now, this is a healthy retracement, if, if you ask me. This isn't the end of the world. If you saw Twitter, they're talking about the end of the world. And they're talking about uh, all sorts of things, like how this is the top. And the bear's actually getting very uh, aggressive and very bearish. And uh, so that makes me think, well, we should probably put our contrarian hats on if the majority of Twitter are going to be aggressively bearish. It sounds to me in some of these tweets that they were stuck short and they needed it to fall. And that's why they're so aggressive on their bias. So uh, one guy's talking about blocking people if they were bullish. I'm like, well, that's a bit strange because you just have to look you know the s p on the big picture and so it's a bit it's a bit i don't like to say retarded but you know the guy you know he's like a perma ball he's probably going to get destroyed i wouldn't want to fight that personally this is a healthy retracement i think uh, however we are sideways here what we need to bear in mind is that the yield curve had inverted and now we've normalized and that that's good for risk okay so the 2 and the 10 had inverted, and now they're back to being normal in speech marks. However, they are slightly elevated due to uncertainty because we've got the FOMC and a very hawkish Fed speak as well this week. So this would be quite good for risk. I think um, I, th I think this is uh, just a healthy retracement here. And um, we're looking to buy dips still, but you still want to be really careful. If this crosses down, which I think it might, then we'll get a buy. And gold is also possibly going to do a buy here as well. So you've got to be careful. Um, Twitter's bearish, like I say. Um, what else? So that's about it, I suppose. We have to remember the VIX as well on the dashboard. Uh, we're below the yearly pivot. And um, as long as we hold below that, that's a good sign. And... Uh, so yeah, just a quick one. I don't want to make it a long video because we haven't got much longer to go to FMC. I remember at the big picture, as you can see, we're risk on. We're minus 10 SSI. So every one person long, there's 10 people trying to short. So that's a still a crowded trade. So we can go up to punish them. So perhaps there is something in that. And also the yield curve had inverted, but now we're back to being fairly normal in speech marks. So um, keep an eye on that VIX. Ideally, we want it below 20 we don't want it above 26.5 so definitely add fix to your uh you know your watch list and uh yeah see how we go